We're going to dive in a little bit on the difference between a back weld, a backing weld, and a backing strap. All three different ways to get complete joint penetration. We're going to start with this one on the bottom. We have our backing strap. This is the weld symbol for a weld backing. And here in the notes, you might see the width or thickness of that strap. Sometimes they're removable, sometimes they have to stay there. In this case, we're going to keep it there. So that backing strap is going to be placed right on the back side of this weld. It's usually going to be placed after the groove's been put on. So we'll also see that V groove on here as well. When it comes to putting a V-groove with a backing strap, you're gonna have a much wider gap for this weldment so that you can tie into all three pieces of metal. You might see some specifications for the groove angle as well as the root opening. In this case, we'll have our root opening in here and the depth of prep is gonna be all the way on this 3 8 plate. Moving up the chart here, we get into a backing weld. Not to get confused with a back weld. They're pretty much the same weld symbol, but it really comes down to the order of operations in which they're done. A backing weld is usually like a backing strap. It's gonna be put on first. So we're gonna have our groove angle here. We're gonna have no root opening. I want that weld to sit on there really easily so that we can get in the groove and grind or gouge to some sound material and put the rest of the weld in. But the weld's gonna go first. In a lot of cases, you might have not necessarily all the way prepped on your bevels, but you might have like an eighth inch land. We put about an eighth inch or 332 land on here so that we have some weld to put on for our back weld. And then again, we can grind into that so that we can put our next weld. Again, the backing weld is not to get confused with the back weld, whereas we're gonna do the back weld after we put some material in. For this instance on the back weld, I've actually got a root opening for our plates to be a little bit wider. I've got a 332 gap for this. And remember, we're running flux core, so my depth of prep is actually a quarter of an inch, maybe having an eighth of an inch or, so, or more right in here as far as the prep for the groove. And I have that 332 gap. So I've got a little bit of an opening in here. And what I'm hoping to do is put that first weld in and really get close if not to squirting a little bit through the backside here so that we have a lot of material to come in, clean up this backside, and then we can put our back weld in. Nice drag angle, aiming towards the top toe, kind of get a little bit of a favor to the top side because it's a 2G weld. Fill in that groove that we put in there. The biggest thing is try not to get off track of your grinding. And there you have it. That's gonna be our back weld right there.